Okay, so what I have here is the downloaded internal all export of my Your Made in Italy report. So this SEO audit, what we're going to be doing for this portion is correcting everything. And I'm gonna go through and kind of show you a few things that you can go through and correct. And we're also going to be going over um, how to fix any redirect issues so that if it's a 404, you can make it 301 redirect. And it's just as simple as adding something like this in. Uh, like that, but we'll go over that a little bit further as we get to it. Um, what I'm gonna do here is delete almost everything. I'm gonna keep a few different variations so that way you can kind of see what's going on, a 200, a 404, and a 301. So with all of this, your 404s and your 301s aren't going to have anything at all really. So. That's uh, of course because they're pointing to a different page. That page then has a title and an optimization. So the 301 naturally absolves into that optimization. 404 doesn't exist, so therefore nothing to really reference. We're gonna do this home page. Obviously, work on the actual optimization of everything. So we want to make sure. I like to go through, just italicize what we're gonna do. Everything when it's done. Uh, so it's a 200. That's good. Okay. So what we're gonna go from here is looking at the title. So we can obviously optimize a few things here. We can say, you're made in Italy, bespoke Italian craftsmanship, and fine leather. So from there, obviously that was going to be something we'll need to re-upload into the SERP uh, simulator and we'll be able to find out or what I like to do is always go in Yoast SEO SERP simulator and I'll show you this as well later on. You just go into here. If you don't have Screaming Frog, you can simply use this. And I'm just going to wait for that to load for a second. If it doesn't, we'll just pop back over and imagine we got it right. Uh, so here it is, snippet preview. And there's tons of, of SERP simulators out there. So it's not a matter of just using Yoast, it's just that I prefer Yoast, I've trusted Yoast, I, I, I have a lot of reasons behind that. They are a very great development company. Um, so inside of here, oops, right around, okay, so rather than redirecting all around, I'm just gonna go back to this. We're gonna imagine that we got this, it's 65, and pixel length is finished as well. So now we're gonna go into the meta description. So with the meta description, we're just gonna add more details. Imagine be able to wish for a product made exclusively for you. Your Made in Italy makes custom bespoke what? Italian leather a reality. And that's all as simple as it's gotta be. Um, And that's probably even more concise. So there we go. Again, we're good here. We're gonna italicize, italicize, italicize. So here we're gonna kind of wanna go off of a list, a list of probably keywords that we have. And it's not gonna be one word at a time. It's going to be, you're made in Italy, bespoke leather, Italian leather, custom Italian leather, bespoke Italian leather. So we're just gonna imagine that's all we need. That's, that's obviously you wanna put in a few keywords. Now where would I say my limit is? My limit would be usually 10 per page. I wouldn't do more than 10 keywords in a page. Uh, that's just the reason why. Uh, or the reason why is because there are not many search engines outside of being in Yahoo really, still a decent amount, 10% of all searches on the internet um, that use those meta keywords. So you don't wanna stuff it because they'll still uh, slap you for that. Being in Yahoo will slap you. 
but uh, Google doesn't even look at this so don't put too much emphasis on trying to stuff things in there anyways so h1 tell us your idea okay that's fine that's fine so again we can mess with all of these h1 and h2s tell us your idea tell us your dream Italian design you know something like that uh, our craftsmen create so we can say something like that and then how long have you been googling and looking for the desired item again this is an h2 so we want to probably remove that from an h2 and I like to either bold it or something like that just to let them know this should not be an h2 this is way too long to be an h2 tag you need to have something that's very short just a poignant statement that people who scan can read as they're scrolling so they need to be you know at this type of speed the scrolling speed where you're like can I can I read all this I better um, let's see we got the second h2 tag again we're gonna want to shorten that a little bit more so how much time how much of your precious time can you waste are you willing to waste more time that simple that's all you got to push so from here the word counts pretty good obviously we want to try and keep that 400 words and above that's basically the minimum for Google accepting an article as being reasonable uh, or adequate enough of content to be featured on its home page not home page but you know what I'm saying on the top 10 listings for a Google search phrase or term so inside of here we're seeing all the unique links external links etc the hash any redirect types that are available okay so we're done there so that's about it so that was pretty easy you would obviously have to do that 240 other times to optimize each page individually and you have to know a little bit kind of like this what each page is about so it's about premium quality leather so we're not just going to be talking about bespoke and custom but mainly premium quality and leather and those keywords moved about so thankfully it's a 301 so we don't even have to worry about that all we're simply thinking about is this 404 so for the 404 it's pretty easy all we're going to do is kind of like I have over here you're gonna go inside what's known as your .ht access there are also plugins there are also things inside your cPanel or your WH admin or anything that you have that creates what's known as a redirect all right and these redirects if you do it like this it's a 301 that's as simple as it gets um, so you don't need to like put in 301 redirect you just need to put in redirect inside the HT access file inside your uh, file server and this is the main way that I do it because it's straight to the code rather than a plugin which kind of references another thing and then this and then once they connect that's what they send you is the as the data so you're gonna take this say this whole URL right here Ooh, hopefully it pops up and is able to be selected there we go and we're just gonna take this you're gonna delete your URL and like I said redirect so that's the old right Not with the old in with the new so the new place that we're gonna put this and since it's a plugin we're just going to go to home that's it that's all it's got to do uh, oh I'm sorry HTTPS and that'll be it that'll be the home so this is redirecting to whoops that right there but this is as simple as the line is it's just simply redirect get rid of this portion of your web your website in the URL then copy and paste this and send it over there to your home page or if you want to put it to a new page Again, just like that new page you know blog whatever the blog number is but I'm just gonna redirect it like I said to the home page so this is how you uh, fix all of your 404 issues inside of an SEO audit as well and then from there again it'll naturally send any traffic that comes to this here back to your home page or wherever you're pointing it and it's a done deal so not too hard to really fix these issues because a lot of them are just on page optimization issues 
header issues, not using keyword issues, being over optimized, being under optimized. But once you fix all of those things, that's 90% of what a website and rankings are that's within your control directly. Now the things that are a little bit less out of your control are like I said, those off page things, building backlinks, getting business listings, getting links from websites that you don't own that are pointing back to you. That could be as simple as a Facebook page. You don't own Facebook, but you can make a page on there that you technically manage, right? You never own it, you manage it. And when you manage that page, you can create a link inside that Facebook fan page to point back to your website, boom. Now you have a link from Facebook to you. So that increases your authority and Google sees that, takes that all into account. And that's how you really rank the other half, which is off page. I hope that helps and I hope this has been clear for you.